Group B streptococcus bacteria can be passed to an unborn baby in the womb or to newborns during labour. If untreated, it can cause other serious infections such as meningitis and septicemia. New research led by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine shows that out of around 410,000 cases every year, there are at least 147,000 preventable stillbirths and infant deaths globally. That's a very conservative estimate because in fact in, in most of Asia there is very limited data around group B strep or indeed any infectious causes of stillbirth. The prevalence of the Group B strep infection varies globally, ranging from 11% in Eastern Asia to 35% in the Caribbean. The United States also has a relatively large number of infections, but the number of child deaths from the infection varies according to the treatment available. It's not the same as you know many conditions that we look at around the world which are only in poor countries. But if we look at the continent that has the, the biggest number of cases and particularly the biggest number of deaths, that's Africa. At least 60 countries have a policy for antibiotic use in pregnancy to tackle infection, including the United States. But in Africa, health systems can rarely afford to screen or treat Group B strep. We still have half of births at home and it's the poorest who are at home. And even for those half who are giving birth in facilities, in many cases, the situation is not, uh, not one where we can provide lots of complex care. As well as the prohibitive cost, doctors say giving antibiotics to the estimated 21.7 million pregnant women carrying the infection may contribute to antimicrobial resistance, a major global health crisis. So this new evidence that we are publishing really pushes much more clearly the urgent need for a maternal vaccine to prevent Group B strep. But we must be intentional from the start that that vaccine is able to reach the poorest and especially in Africa where the burden is highest. There are at least four vaccines in development but none is expected to be licensed for at least five years. Until then, the researchers say health systems should continue to treat Group B strep using antibiotics where possible. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.